Alright, hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Mana. So, last time we helped Draconis get the... Not Draconis, we helped Lark. Kill one of the other dragons for Draconis, and our reward was the Dragon Bone Artifact. So I say we go toss that onto our map, and we check that out. Yes, I know we have, like, a shit ton of our artifacts. We have the Frozen Heart, the Tome of Magic, and the Touch of Coral. I really don't like the area the Touch of Coral is. I'm waiting on Geo because, oh man, are we going to enjoy some Geo. And this, it's very important that if I want to get my Succubus Waifu pet, I place this in a certain spot. So for now, we're going to place Dragon Bone and we are going to put it right here. And this should create the Bone Fortress, which is a dead dragon. So let's head up there. This episode might run a little long because I'm probably going to lump this first quest since it's like super quick. Uh, at least hopefully it's super quick unless I screw everything up. Uh, in with the next Lark quest which I think can run a little long. So we'll see how we do for time here. But um, we should be okay. This one is not going to be the first Lark quest though, it's the field trip. It is going to be getting ready for Geo. So, let's talk to this guy here. They are gathering herbs that grow on the hill. They go to the Account of Magic. They're working on their triple reagent mixing assignment. Miss Thessinus said they should make stuff with reagents around here, but they're having no luck. Even the flowering are helping, but they've had nothing but duds. So they want us to go get reagents. So what we do as we head over here and there's a bunch of students here so each of these students has a different ingredient and basically what we have to do is get the right ingredients take them back to the student who just asked us for them and then we're done if I remember correctly this is always the same so we want this kid here who for some reason I'm having trouble talking there we go fairy scales uh, and then we want to talk to the male flowerling down here. This pink one, I think? Was that one? Maybe it was this one. No, it was not Uli Pen, so we're wrong. Uli Pen is not what we want for the third one. It's, it's what, you? Gypsy Tooth? No, it's... I want somebody with this... I'm sp there's supposed to be a male flowering with star sparkles. I'm getting the wrong things, but at the very least I will show you what happens when you get the wrong things. Shit explodes in his goddamn face. The kid's fine. Uh, but he does tell you, this is kind of like a Codemasters sort of thing. One of the ingredients was right, and I know which one it is, too. It's, it's this one. Come on. Fairy scales is correct. Is there another male flowering down here? Which is the one with the... Star Sparkles. Holy poly, no. Spotted Silver Mushrooms. No, I'm trying to find the one with the Star Sparkles. The middle, so the Silver Spotted Mushrooms is actually correct as well. That's our third one. So I should have been paying closer attention to which one that was. But we're getting really close. Uh, okay, so we want these from you. Are you the one? No, it's the Gypsy Tooth. Green walls. It's supposed to be a flowerling, and then like a male flowerling. I, I'm pretty sure that it's student, male flowerling, female flower. That's how I always remember it. You. Star sparkles. There we go. Now, which one? Was it you? Spot and silver mushrooms. This should be it. Quest is super quick. Give it a shot. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my microphone here. There we go. Made some trigram. The little kids take this, it makes their heads explode. One time Bud drank some by mistake and he ran around all day. We can't get any, but they'll give us an oblong seed. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head if you get an artifact for doing that and which one it would be, I would have to imagine it would be Tome of Magic. 
kids, you can go into Geo, since they're Geo's kids. Um, I, I'm trying to remember where we got Tome of Magic from to begin with, and I want to say it was in the desert, but I think that was where Frozen Heart was from. If he gives you an artifact, it's one of the three I already have, or one of the ones I have placed. I'm not sure which one. Doesn't really matter. That's kind of just a quest you have to do to get it out of the way for uh, being able to go into the Bone Fortress proper for Lark's quest. But for now, we gotta go stop in, visit Little Cactus, and then we will go and uh, grab Lark and move right into that next thing here. So let's run up here. Sup, Little Cactus? Uh, yes, talk to him. Blammo! Alright, so let's see. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll save what he says for later, actually. Oops, I'm having trouble navigating here. I'll just check it at the end of the episode after we also do Lark's quest. Somebody just make sure I don't forget. And I think this is like the halfway point as far as doing all the quests. It's either the last quest or this one that is halfway through the game, I think, as far as doing all the quests. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure we're about halfway. Uh, so, let's head back into the Bone Fortress, but first we'll stop at the Underworld because we need Lark, before I forget that. Let's uh, watch our guy run up here. Junkyard. Caverns. Jungle. Underworld. Go in. There we go. Alright. Ugh, stretching, yawning, being an otherwise awful commentator. Mark, let's go. Yeah, dragons. No, sorry, Let, let's go. I don't know why it defaults to maybe later. I guess they assume you'll to the Bone Fortress. Uh, accidentally talk to him. And I, I want to say that you can skip the kids' quest if you come in with Lark, but I don't know if I've ever done it. But I imagine that might be what happens if you come into the Bone Fortress without Lark. I could be wrong, though. Maybe he just hangs out with you while you experiment for the kids, and then you can go in later. Because otherwise, it's it's basically an irrelevant quest. It's kind of just for, like, setup, and, I mean, they're still here afterwards. So I, I imagine this is exactly how it goes if you come in with him. Are they talking about a strange voice they keep hearing? And then they explain that they use the herbs and potions, and apparently the herbs will cure anything, but there's been a weird voice coming from the castle. And apparently rumors of the dragon of knowledge that is uh, up in the castle. Oh jeez, that is kind of frightening. I don't blame the kids. Alright. So I guess we're here to kill the dragon knowledge. The cranium gates. Here he comes. So this sweet suit of armor comes out of absolutely nowhere. The ghost of Nemesis. Away with you humans, this place is not for you. So, uh, I think we should tell him to fuck right off. He recognizes Lark as a Dragoon. Jajara is the name of the Dragon of Knowledge that we are here to see, Lark says. Not slay, see. But he knows that we're full of shit and he's going to send us back to the Underworld. Or so he claims. I'm going to shoot him with the bow and then insult over him. Oh, I'm going to him twice. Oh, they dodged him. Oh, oh, dodging some more. Oh, shit, he has rocket fists. Should I get this guy as a buddy? Ah, uh, no, that's too short. There we go. Oh, oh, I'm not gonna reach your rocket fist. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Uh, he is the skeletal soldier, by the way. I shouldn't try and remember to show off boss names and things. Alright, let's try and see if we can't get our true shot off here. He's moving out of the way, it looks like. Huh? Oh! Oh, he moved right back in. Perfect. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Done. Got him. Get my shit. Did I get it all? Didn't somebody snag one? Ah, we got all of them. Perfect. 
So now this dragon head is going to open up for us. And then, there, there we go. We just walk inside there. It's a little finicky getting in there. And this is the one quest where you will have to bring a pet with you because you need three different characters for these buttons. But when we walk inside, we set off a trap and we end up alone. And this is probably the best reason why I needed to upgrade the glove. Alright, so we're going to head out here. Uh, and then we want to go... No, we want to go through those. I think we do have to fight them. We do have to do a couple fights completely alone, which is why I'm, I'm glad I've upgraded my stuff, but... I'm gonna try and get away from these guys, take as little damage as I can so they don't kill me. Now once one's down, this is gonna be easy. Try and pick up money. Ah, uh, forget the money. Just kill him. Not missed at all. Ah, well, not important. It's only 10 lucre each. It's. I, I thought money got bigger as well as you, like, progressed farther away from home, but I guess not. So here we're in this strange room. And I think we want to talk to this. Talk to the skull. Has a flame come at us. So you youngins were trapped in the Bone Fortress too. I'll help you out. If you're ever lost, just ask my friends to help you out. And he opens up a secret trap for us. Secret room for us. And here we find this knight. Which will also open a secret room for us. A little strange that it looks exactly like the knight we fought to get in here, but... Here we go. Now Chocobo is back with us. I'm trying to think if if you come in here without a pet, you might just be screwed and have to like leave halfway through or something. But uh, all right, so now we want to, and this time I can just kill these guys with a spin shot. Do -do. Oh, sorry, I was looking at something in my notes on the other screen, and I was not watching the game. Ah, the damn shields. Alright. It also is, uh, kind of an incentive to have a pet with you that is actually good, because he's gonna be tanking things for, well, a couple of rooms. It's not super important. Uh, but let's head back in the main room here, and now we want to... Take the elevator down, which... Oh, right, we have to use these. How do we use them? Ah, there we go. Just kind of got to run into them, bash and X. Then you and your pet touch them, and now you can go downstairs. Uh, I think we have to talk to the fire. Trapped in here, too. I'll help you out. Where do you want to go? We want to go to the... I think. I think we go to the th not the third floor. It's either first or the second. I'm gonna go to the second. That may be the first. You know what? I think it was the first. Oh, no. Yeah, I think it was the first. And then we work our way out. So I'm gonna go to the first first. Let's go to the first. So we started in the basement. Now is not a good time. Okay, so it must be the second. Can I go to the third? I'm going to go to the third. I'm looking for Lark. Why are you so draconous? You must have a chance to the dragons. No, not really. You must die with a draconous and sure to give up. And that way I won't have to kill Lark. Yeah, fair enough. Can't blame you for that. But I would like you to not hit me. So I'm gonna stay back here and poke at you with these. If you wanna just spin there some more, that'll be great. Boom. Got it. No, did I not get it? Oh, I did. Sweet. She has a ton of HP. Multiple blue and green health bars to tear through. 
shot. Oh, it looks like she might be moving out of the way. Ah, oh, I got her. I'm really glad that there's more vertical on that true shot than it looks like. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, and there we are. Now we've gotten past all the blue and greens. She's only got a couple of HP bars left. Oh, she's got me. Oh, she's got me. Bang, 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 bang. I'm just gonna use like spin shot to finish her off. Get right in here and wow. Boom. So we're too strong for her, but she vows to stop us. And then she fucks off. So, she drops a key right here. Alright, now we go this way. And a sick chest. Open. Thank you. The blank eye. Uh, I think it's this way. Actually, you know what? I think now that we have the key, we want to go to the second floor. So I'm pretty sure Lark is on the second floor. I could explore the third floor here, but I think that's for something else. Also, you can see the little flames at the top tell you which floor you're on, in case you couldn't do press of elimination to figure it out here. But now we want to go to the second floor. Yes, they organize the uh, menu so that you can tell which way you're going. I'm trying to think we want to go this way now. And... We'll talk to the knight. You will open this door. And then here's Lark. And more importantly, here's the chest. Alright, we get Smash. Okay, Lark, come on. Get your ass up. You have a sister, great. Come on. Ready? There we go. Yeah, yeah, we all fell for a trap, whatever, we're all done. Alrighty, now the flame should actually let us go to the first floor because we are now ready now that we have Lark with us. The elevator door, go the elevator, and flame, what's up, buddy? Uh, first floor ready? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Alright, so now, we go over here, and... Everybody push their stool. Boom. Giant buttons, all depressed. Cool. So now we go right back in, and now we go to the third floor. Do, 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 do. Now we want to go this way. I think we just go upstairs. Sounds right. Rib cage hallway, which sounds pretty fucking sweet. I'm gonna do that. Bum, bum, bum. Bring the whole army if you wish. You will not pass. Why, it's Lark the Conqueror. Well, 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 if it isn't the Deathbringer. Ah, it's no use of Draconis. You should be quite an opponent. Ha ha ha. I don't think we would meet again like this after a hundred years. Boom, 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 Probably one of the coolest looking enemies in the game. The Deathbringer. I'm gonna back the fuck off. And let's get our special bar up for him. Lark has his and he's not using it for whatever reason. Oh shit, okay, I gotta figure out his tells here. Best place if you're ever unsure of how to dodge a boss, complete opposite end of the map a bit. So, it's in the bottom right. I went uh, top left, and sure enough, that worked great. He does not have nearly as much HP as, uh, oh shit, he's doing something again. As Sierra just did. And we have Lark with us to fight him. So, we can just kind of, oh, there we go, I get these things. Um, since you're going to get yours, I'm gonna, like, 
hope that my time this properly so that mine comes in now. Boom! And then we did it. That was some excellently timed skills log. High five. High five. High five. Oh shit, I should pick these up. Okay, high five. I was proud of myself there. Most impressive, you just might be the one. Yeah, because you've got nothing to lose. But, that is Lark. Alright, we go on. Throne of Corpses. A way cooler name. This, much like the Tower of Larry's, is a quest that will be a double boss quest. I'm pretty sure we fight a boss here. And second up. Power of mana, that blasted Jajara, he must be close. Jajara, in the stead of my master Draconis, I have come to slay you. Draconis selfishly wants mana, not enough bloodshed. Foolish, utter foolishness. Yeah, that's basically what this whole thing seems like. Bunch of idiots being dummies. Boom! Sick dragon. This is a Jajara. That's what a Jajara looks like. He's a dragon of knowledge. Big fucking orange skeletal dragon. And he also does not have as much HP as Sierra did. Oh shit, he's using something. Let's stay down here and hope I'm good. Yeah, get down here. So what I just said about dodging bosses does not apply when you're fighting dragons, because dragons breathe things, so you just gotta stay out of their fucking mouths. See? Easy. Just stay out of their mouths. Oh shit, I'm in his mouth. Uh, I'm like stuck inside of him. Oh, I got it. So I'm gonna get over here, face him, and get a tree shot. And once this hits him, it should kill him. Oh, he dodged it with his skill. Shoot. Well, he's not that much. He's only got half a bar left, so... Oh, it looks like Lark might have timed this just right. No, Lark fucked it all up. Okay, Lark just hit him. No, just stand behind me and wave your axe around somewhere, why not? There we go, got him. I need your help, Lark. You're useless. Now, dragon can explode into rainbows, and the Chocobo is trying to steal my ship. Can I get them all? Ah, oh, the Chocobo got one. I think the Chocobo may be leveling me soon. If not already. Everything is falling apart in a spray of colors. Or is it just the RGB? Yeah, it looks like it's just RGB. And the dragon comes back together with these two statues. So now, I think it's us change his name. Can I put the other one on? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's still Jajara. It's also still, like, below us in level. Which is weird, because Aquavado wasn't, but that might just be because... I'm going to wait right here, and then once he starts going, I can really go on and just start the true shot. I think I'm a little early here. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I nailed it. That was great. Alright, I did that a little too early, but I figured out. I'll use the skill to dodge him and hit him after, which is basically how every boss fight should be going. So, not only is this a two boss fight, but it is a three boss fight because there's two phases to it. I'm gonna run in here and... Oh, shit. Just put in the spin shot. I think spin shot... Oh, shoot, he used his own skill. I'm trying to aid. Looks like it worked. Maybe? I don't know. I wasn't really watching my HP, I was trying to figure out and find my sprite in the back end, but Again, not very hard. I think they dumb all three bosses down just so that you can do them all... Is somebody check why you need to move? I'm gonna take all the experience. Oh my god, Lark got a bunch of them. That's basically useless. Oh, well, he only got one of them. Well, it's still one more than he deserved. If you're not, this time you'll rest forever in the underworld. So, we sent him back where he needs to go. I guess, I mean, he's a bone dragon. So, power of mana in this room at the back. 
Who would have thought the ornate looking room with the candles and the gate in front of it is where they keep the most important thing. So we're gonna... Come on, Chocobo, you're slowing the whole thing down. Alright, here we go. The herbs around here have their power because of this crystal. I feel like we should, like, ask what's going on. So what's, what's up with mana? Lark doesn't know jack shit, but super strong, and apparently he can raise the dead. And then he gives us the green cane. Our other opportunity was to ask about Draconis. I'm not sure what he says. I think he just says, like, Draconis is the greatest guy ever. Do what he say. Uh, but he is super happy. There's only one mana stone left. And then we're good. So, we just need to go back to the cactus now. And I think we're good. I'm trying to think if the next quest is going to be the last dragon quest or if there's something else there. I'm pretty sure we're going into that. I'll like pull up the camera so I can see myself here. Jungle. Pretty sure the next quest we're going to is going to be the one we make with the green cane, which now that I think about it, I might be wrong. The frozen heart might not make the ice mountains I keep piping. They might, that might be made by the green cane. We'll see. In the meantime, let's go talk to Cactus and tell Lark to fuck off back to the underworld where he belongs. Yeah, yeah destiny. Destiny is destiny. Whatever. So, kids. I killing dragons, farming mana, and talking to cactus. So cacti, skelly snappy, what is with you and always finding the like most disturbing part of my story? Oh yeah, I went into this mountain and killed a bunch of birds and killed a dragon. Oh, what do birds' legs taste like when you snap them open and drink their juices out? Starting to think this cactus might be some kind of psychopath here. Let's see, where are we going? Bone Dragon was the second one. I want the one about the kids and the formula. The field trip, there it is. Picking up stuff from the ground, mixing them, and making them go boom. Isn't that a little bit childish? Didn't your mommy tell you not to do things like that? And for Bone Dragon, oh, I guess where the next one's gonna be. Was it fun going up and down in the fort made of bones, or was it scary? I wouldn't know, because I'm only a cactus in a pot. Fountain of Insight. Cactuses. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.